Uh, here's the second um, piece of uh, repl replace the road kit. This is my new petrol line mower. This is the cheapest one you can buy at Buddings. Look, I've had a good experience with the Cheetah, so if this is half as good as the Cheetah, I think we'll be happy. Um, I've got a $200 whipper snipping job to do tomorrow morning and a $50 mow, and that will just bring in some extra funds for Christmas, which would be nice. So that should take about, well, about an hour and a half tomorrow um, for the whipper snipping job and probably about oh, an hour for the mowing. So anyway, I'm just going to go open this up and just give her a quick sneaky start. start. It's a bit late at night, so I won't run it too long, but just make sure she does start before I go out there. This is what you get in the box. Uh, I'm not going to rip up the bottom part of this box. I'm just going to put it together from here. So you get, you actually get some two-stroke oil, a little tool, um, some line. Um, the tool itself, obviously, looks to be a little bit shorter. Oh, there's already some in there. Oh, it's already better than Roby. Literally. Um, a guard. Yep, so I'm going to put this together and then key back in when it's ready to start. Alright guys, just had the first little um, pull start. It's actually a lot easier to start than the um, probably already. Uh, about fourth or fifth start pull, got it started. Um, and then once it was warmed up, like, as i.e. running for 30 seconds, next pull started it again. It's already better. So we you might not want to buy this guy. It is a, light, a fixed line head. It does say that in the box, but just in case you're unaware, that's what that means. So um, there's no bump feed. You're going to have to manually feed this through. They give you about two or three lines with it. I'm thinking I'm probably just going to buy the heavy duty guy um, on the way back to the job. And then that way it won't snap every two seconds, hopefully. But yeah, it does feel ever so slightly less powerful than the Roby. So we'll just have to see how it goes tomorrow. But the main thing is, what actually failed was the metal in here. And this metal feels a lot thicker. And a lot more substantial than the other one. Um, and that actually overlaps properly. But we'll just have to see. We'll test it out. If it can finish the job that the Roby did, if it can last four weeks, I'll do another update. This is just the first impressions. Um, and if so, I'll do a review just saying if I've already returned it already. <laughs> like on the other one. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that one. It is um, just to put it together. Um, that is already attached to this guy. That just goes on with a, a butterfly nut. So does that, and then this just slides into place, and then you've got the Allen key that it comes with, tightens that guy up, and then of course just put your premix fuel in there, 50 to 1 petrol, um, and then you've got pretty coherent um, starting instructions over here, and I feel like for $150 I don't have to try that hard, so that's pretty good of them. Alright, so this is the job I ended up finishing off, um, it was like about 800 meters of just like this so just just whip a snipping down the middle where you couldn't reach in the um tractor so that was the job i was alluding to it was a couple hundred bucks cash in hand um so here i do a little bit on this one this is what a cord start looks like on a 32 degree day so it still takes a few pulls it's not quite as easy as the lawnmower i think because it's two stroke i would recommend this with a stiffer for like either personal use or small yards can be a bit of a hassle because of the fixed line head that being said um they do sell a couple of they do sell a a bump feed head attachment so maybe you grab that it'll be a bit better uh but yeah you, you can just trying to cut all the fixed line and stuff like that is a bit of a hassle but apart from that it's got plenty of power for the price you're paying um it can be a bit of a hassle you know but apart from that it's a hell of a lot easier than doing it by hand which at a <laughs> hundred and bloody hundred odd bucks pretty much for it is the next cheapest option. So I'd definitely say rate the, te uh, rate the product about seven, eight out of 10.